Today I'm going to show you an advanced weapon sling script created by Pug. This resource allows you to customize the placement of weapons and items on players in 3D space easily in game. It's compatible with QB Core and ESX while supporting multiple inventory systems, and it comes pre configured with 30 plus weapons and items, making the install very easy. Developers can enter the editor and go through all the weapons and items to find ideal placements. If enabled, players can also go into the editor to set their personal placements and customize things to their liking. Another cool feature is the built in gun rack system for police, allowing them to store and secure weapons. If you prefer the older style, it is included. Included and it's easy to switch to. I'll explain how it differs later on in the video. I'll leave a link to the store where you can check out all the features and purchase it, as well as a preview made by the creator. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. It's $14.99 USD. You can change the currency up here. As you scroll through, you'll see a link to the preview, as well as features, options, and information about the resource. The creator also has a link to the Discord you can join if you need help. So go ahead and add it to the basket. It'll have you log in, so we'll do that. You can log in with Discord as well. I'm just going to continue. Then proceed to checkout. Then continue to payment. And enter the information. After you've purchased it, go to your Keymaster and over to Granted Assets. Then find Pug Advanced Weapon Sling and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources, then drag it over. Then go to your server CFG and ensure it. After you've done that, hit file and save. Then we'll take a look at some of the options in the config. The first thing in here is the option to use the old version. There's also a preview you can look at. The older version works by detecting configured weapons and items and assigning them to one of three predetermined locations based on their order in your inventory. So if you have one weapon or item, it'll be placed on your back in the first position. If you have a second, it'll go on your back as well in the second set position. And if you have a third, it'll display on your chest. If the items are removed from your inventory, they're automatically rearranged to fit the correct positions. If you want to use this, change false to true. The next section is for the frameworks. As stated in the commented out text, don't change any of this unless you're using a custom framework. Then you have an option for the loop speed followed by the maximum weight for the police rack and the amount of slots available. So I'll change this to three. The next section is for the commands. Rack allows police to open the gun racks. Set weapon allows developers to customize the position of weapons and items for players and weapon position allows players to customize their own positions. Players can only edit it if they have the weapon or item in their inventory at that time, and there is a limit to how far they can be moved from the players so they aren't moved too far or set to unrealistic distances. The next section is for the jobs that have access to the gun rack command. Then you have the configured weapons and items. They're separated by type, and the items are at the very end. The last section should have be touched, so if you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. And the next step is for people using Elenium appearance. So if you aren't using it, you can skip this part. So I'm going to go back to the resource folder and open the readme. Then go to Elenium appearance into the server folder and open the server.lua. Once you're in there, scroll all the way down. And these are the commands we need to replace. So go back to the readme and copy the first one here. Then go back to the server.lua, highlight the same one, and replace it. Then repeat the process for clear stuck props. After you've done that, hit file and save. Then you can start your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out One of One Servers. One of One Servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network, unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. They also offer 24 7 customer support so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. So I'm back in the server now. I'll start with the weapon position command that allows players to personalize the placement. 
So if you don't have any weapons, nothing will happen, obviously, and this message will display. So I'll go ahead and give myself a pistol and try it again. Okay, and I now have a pistol, and it's displayed on my back. As I mentioned before, players can only edit the position of weapons they have in their inventory, so if I try to use the arrow keys to cycle, nothing will happen. So go ahead and move it up. I'm just going to put it in a random spot from where it is on the right already. It'll hit enter, and as you can see, it updated. So I'll take it out and put it back away. So I'll go in again. Now, if you try to move it too far, you'll see it won't let you both ways up and down as well. So I move on to the set weapon command. And in this menu, you do have the option to display all the weapons and items. There is a key on the bottom that tells you how to rotate everything and what everything does. So we'll cycle through the weapons. We'll do this mess. So move it around and rotate it. And just put it here. So then I'll go ahead and give myself the map. And as you can see, it's in the location that I just set. Now I have the police job and a police car, so we'll use the gun rack system. Okay, so I'll drop these in there. And get out. Then get back in and retrieve them. The last thing I'll show is the older version. I have three items and all the positions are filled. So I'll go ahead and drop the compact rifle. And as you can see, the carbine rifle moved to the back and off the chest. That'll be all for this video. I like all the options for customization. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. Thank you for watching.